happening and it's a time for a new series. It's a time for a new series. What's it all about? Well this series we're going to be looking at mysteries and speaking of mysteries Jenny your hair is a mystery to me because it's a different colour. It is a different colour. I don't know. I don't know. It's a mystery. Now guys stay tuned because another hair mystery is about to unfold. You came from heaven. You loved me. You loved me. Gave up all you had, you saved me, you saved me Your life was given, you loved me, you loved me So I live forever, you saved me, you saved me You made a way for me You came to set me Jesus, I believe He came to save. I believe in Jesus Christ. I will trust in Jesus. I will live to follow Him. I will trust in Jesus Christ. You came from heaven. You loved me. You loved me. Gave up. All you had, you saved me, you saved me Your life was given, you loved me, you loved me So I live forever, you saved me, you saved me You made a way for me You came to set me free I believe in Jesus In Jesus, I live to follow Him. I will trust in Jesus Christ. Clap, clap, clap if you feel it. Sing, sing, sing like you mean it. Clap, clap, clap if you feel it. I believe, I believe, I believe. Clap, clap, clap if you feel it. Sing, sing, sing like you mean it. Clap, clap, clap if you feel it. I believe, I believe, I believe. Clap, clap, clap if you feel it. Sing, sing, sing like you mean it. Jesus, I live to follow Him. I will trust. 
trust in Jesus Christ Clap, clap, clap if you feel it Sing, sing, sing like you mean it Clap, clap, clap if you feel it I believe, I believe, I believe Clap, clap, clap if you feel it Sing, sing, sing like you mean it Clap, clap, clap if you feel it I believe, I believe, I believe Okay, so the unfolding mystery this morning. I wonder if you can guess. No, it's not a haircut. If only. Although I am very good at cutting men's hair. <laughs> However, today Logan has agreed to something. Yeah. This I is hair mean. dye, guys. Now, I wonder, would you like to have a bit of a guess as to what colour the hair dye is going to be. I'll give you a moment to think about what colour is the hair dye going to be. Now, you might not want to try this at home. You might need your parents' permission to try this at home. Got my special gloves. And Logan, are you ready for the mystery? I'm um, full of regret. Logan yeah. doesn't know, so don't tell him, all right? Shh, don't tell him. All right, here we go. I'm going to open the packet nice and close here so you can see. Okay, here we go. Now, when I squeeze that, can you see? Oh, don't tell him, don't tell him. Shh, here we go. All right, so we're just going to put this onto his hair. Oh, that feels awful. <laughs> and I'm just going to rub this <laughs> face awful. in. Don't tell him. Now, we don't want you to dye your hair, but do we want them to send us in some stuff about mysteries, Logan? Yeah, for sure. If you can send us in any mysteries you can think of or that you have, we'd love to have a crack at figuring out the mystery. Oh, this feels terrible. <laughs> <laughs> this is always payback for the rock. Yes, this is payback for the rock last week. If you missed last week's video, go back and watch it. Watch it, it oh. where the rock. So, don't tell him the colour. I'm taking this off and hiding it from him. So he's not going to know. It's all a mystery. Hey Fig Tree, I'm at my comfy desk. I'm inside my own house having a great time. I got some lovely chocolate chip bickies with me. I'm having a great time and we're going to be starting to look into our teaching series for the series on mysteries and what great mysteries could we be looking at in the Bible, you ask. And let me tell you about this awesome mystery that we're going to be looking at called the Trinity. Now some of you might already know what the Trinity is and that's awesome. What we're going to be doing in this teaching series is looking at trying to understand a little bit more about the Trinity. Now, we're not going to be able to learn everything because it's just so much to learn about the Trinity. But we're going to try our best to unravel and, and learn a little bit about the mystery of the Trinity. And the first thing we're going to do is kind of with a table that you'll see right about here. Here. There, yeah, there. And so this table is going to show us who are the people of the Trinity, what does Trinity mean, and what does it mean to be part of the Trinity and be God? So as you'll see, there's three different people in the Trinity. That's because Trinity means try, which means three. Fun maths, stay in school kids. Now, three persons of the Trinity. Who are they? Well, as you'll see, we have the Father, we have Jesus the Son, and we have the Holy Spirit. Now, each one of these people, each one of these persons, makes up a third of the Trinity. They're one person in the Trinity. But as you'll see in the table, they all say God. Now this isn't because they're all one third God. No, they're actually all 100% God. And that's the mystery we're going to be looking at. That each person in the Trinity is fully God in their own right. 
So that's a little bit of a preview, a little bit of a, a setup for what we're going to be learning in this teaching series. So let's jump straight into it now. We'll put a little bit more of a video. Stay tuned. In the days prior to Jesus' ministry on earth, a man who wore strange clothing and ate strange food was preaching a powerful message in the wilderness. His name was John, and he told crowds of people that the kingdom of heaven was about to appear and that they should turn from their sins and wash themselves clean through the baptism. His emphasis on baptism earned him the name John the Baptist. As word of John the Baptist's message spread, crowds of people traveled to the Jordan River to confess their sins and be baptized. While many of these people were genuinely sorry for their sins, there were those who came only for show. These religious leaders, called Pharisees, came to be seen by the people, not because they wanted to be closer to God. John the Baptist warned them that God would not be fooled by impostors and that only those with genuine faith would be received. John's warning to the Pharisees continued as he began to describe a very special man who would come after him. This man would be so great that John wouldn't even be worthy to touch his sandals. This man would baptize with the Holy Spirit and with fire. This great man John described would be the promised Messiah. As John the Baptist continued to baptize people in the Jordan River, many wondered about the man he had spoken of to the Pharisees. One day, a man from the town of Galilee came to be baptized. John the Baptist immediately knew who this man was. He was Jesus, the promised Messiah that John had told the Pharisees about. John was filled with awe and a bit of confusion. As Jesus approached, John the Baptist couldn't believe that Jesus would wade into the water with him. John, filled with confusion, asked Jesus, Why are you doing this? I am the one who needs to be baptized by you, and yet you want me to baptize you? Jesus reassured John by saying, It is right to do all that God requires. In obedience to the Father, Jesus was baptized by John. This was an incredible moment in which Jesus, the perfect, sinless Son of God, identified with those He came to save. As Jesus was baptized, He entered into the pain and sin of all people. While Jesus had no sins to confess and be cleansed of, His baptism was an act of faith and obedience. As Jesus rose up out of the water, the heavens opened above Him and the Holy Spirit descended from heaven in the form of a dove that came to rest upon Jesus. This amazing sight was followed by the booming sound of the Father's voice saying, This is my dearly loved Son who brings me great joy. Jesus' baptism serves as an example for us to follow. Hey guys, so now we're going to pray together. And remember, prayer is just talking to God. And this is where we see the three persons of God involved because the Holy Spirit helps us to know what to say. And Jesus is in heaven, seated next to God the Father, and he is speaking to God the Father on our behalf. So we can have this incredible relationship with God because of the three persons of God. So let's pray together now. You might like to think about someone special that you might like to pray about this week. Dear Lord Jesus, we thank you so much that you did not leave us alone. We thank you so much that you sent Jesus to come to earth to die on the cross, to pay for our sins, to rise again and offer us the free gift of salvation. God, I pray for anyone who wants to know more about this gift of salvation, that they will talk to you about it, 
they will talk to someone in their family or a trusted person about it. Lord, please help us to know more about you this week. Please help us to understand more about you. And please help us to reach out to somebody this week with your love and your great message of hope and um, so much joy that you can give us, even in this lockdown season. We pray for the government, we pray for wisdom, and we pray for people to be able to do what is needed so that we can be together again in person. And we ask these things in Jesus' name. Amen. In the darkness we were waiting Without hope, without light Till from heaven you came running There was mercy in your eyes To fulfill the law and prophets To a virgin came the word From a throne of endless glory To a cradle in the dirt To reveal the kingdom coming And to reconcile the lost To redeem the whole creation You did not despise the cross For even in your suffering You saw to the other side Knowing this was our salvation Jesus for our sake you died Till that stone was moved for good For the Lamb had conquered death And the dead rose from their tombs And the angels stood in awe For the souls of all who'd come To the Father are restored And the church of Christ was born Then the Spirit lit the flame now this gospel truth of old shall not kneel, shall not faint. By his blood and in his name, in his freedom I am free. For the love of Jesus Christ, who has resurrected me. If you haven't met us before, I'm Mel and I'm Dee and we're a part of the Carla family. So today's craft, you won't need very much, we've got some um, sheets that can be printed and some, tape, um, some pencils and some scissors and if you can't print this craft at home, don't worry too much because we are going to be delivering some September packs to you soon and this craft will be in that pack. So we are 
talking today about the baptism of Jesus by John the Baptist and uh, to help you retell this story yourself at home and have a background that you can use your finger puppets on. We have um, a sheet with a dove and John the Baptist and Jesus in this picture. And then these two pictures, there's um, Jesus and John the Baptist. So all you need to do for this craft is cut out the different figurines and put them onto a paddle pop stick, which will be in your kit as well. And then you can use these different figures to retell the story of when Jesus is baptized, which you will have heard in today's story. So we are going to go and create our finger puppets and we're going to have a go at retelling the story. And we'd love to see your finger puppets. Um, so feel free to share them with Jenny or Logan or the Fig Tree Kids Facebook page. We will see you guys next week. See you later. Well, Logan, the mystery color didn't really work out that well. Boys and girls, he's his head's a little bit purple, but you know. Hair's a little bit too short for it to really stick in. A bit um, short, but we tried. But we got to see some colour anyway. We so. did, we did. Cool. And also, we got to learn some more about the Trinity God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit. Three persons, but all fully God, all fully able to be involved in our lives. It's awesome, isn't it? It's awesome to be able to learn about the mystery of the Trinity. And I'm so excited for this month coming up in September. I'm so excited for us to be delivering packs to these yeah, guys again. Yeah, packs again, guys. It's going to be awesome. So stay tuned throughout the week. You might get a pack early in the week or later in the week. You'll be getting a pack. Yes. Super excited for that. Yes. Um, but I'm super excited for what's to come next week. Yes, that's right. So this week we looked at um, Jesus being baptized and God the Father and God the Holy Spirit being involved in that. We're going to be looking into the Bible to learning more and more about how the three persons of God can be involved in our lives. Have a great week, guys.